What's up, guys? I'm gonna wait and see who how many people show up before we get started. But um, yeah, today I'm gonna um have a little live class on promoting your business, promoting yourself as a DJ. Um, a lot of you guys responded very, very well uh, to the um promoting yourself by using mixtapes and everything. So I figured we dive in a little deeper today. Who's all in here with me? What's your name and where you're from? I'm just going to go, um, I see five, six of you guys in here. We're going to just um, wait till some more people come in and then we're going to um, get started. I'm going to talk to you guys today. You know, for you guys who are just clicking on, we're going to talk about promoting yourself. Promoting yourself as a DJ, promoting your business, promoting your brand. That's what we're going to talk about today. So we're actually going to do like a live class today. Okay, we got 10 in so far. Okay, let's see if anybody else is coming in here. We got 10 in so far. Bobby Whitney, what's up? Cleveland is in the building. I like that name, Bobby Whitney. <laughs> Cleveland's in the building. Danny, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Man, Denny's my dude. I see Denny all the time. <laughs> DJ, hands up. Everything's good, man. Can't complain, man. Can't complain. Went to um, my doctor yesterday and everything. Everything checked out good. I actually got that on video. I'm going to put that video up so you guys can see <laughs> the, the hospital visit. So, so I'm just going to, um, a few more seconds, we'll get, you know, give more people time to get in here before we start. We're going to do a, um, a session today, guys. We're going to talk about promoting yourself and getting you, getting yourself more business. DJ Dave from Maine. Maine is in a building. What's up, Maine? Big salute to Maine. Good, good, Danny. Good. Alp is in the building. What's good, man? Lady D is in the building. What's up, lady? Let's give a few more seconds and we'll go ahead and get started, guys. Again, we're going to talk about promoting yourself, promoting yourself as a DJ, promoting your business and promoting your brand to bring yourself more business. And we're going to talk about that today. So I'm going to um, wait a few more seconds, about um, 20, 30 more seconds, and we'll go ahead and kick this off. Somebody else has popped in. What's your name and where you're from? Welcome. Good to have you. We'll get started in a few more seconds, guys. Thank you guys for the thumbs up, too, man. I greatly appreciate that, man. I really, I greatly appreciate it. Also, guys, you might have noticed that over, I guess, is down at the bottom somewhere in a corner somewhere or wherever that is. Let me look on my computer, see if I can see it. <laughs> Okay, I got the um, super chat at the bottom for you guys. You want to do donations and things like that. You know, that's awesome. That's great. You guys already know my style already. Those donations, big portion of those donations are going to the homeless where I'll be handing them out to the homeless myself going into the field, man. I like to do stuff for people. I'm not one of those guys who like to just donate my money to Red Cross. because You don't know where that money's going. So, you know, I like to do that. So any of you guys feel like you want to um, donate something, that would be awesome. That would be great. Um, again, the big, the big portion of those proceeds are going to the homeless. The other part of those proceeds are going for me to um, go talk to uh, other DJs. So many DJs, I have to come out of pocket and pay them. Otherwise, they won't sit down. They feel like they're on way up here, even you know, even though they're not like DJ Khaled or nothing. But some of them do put in the work, you know, to be as big as they are. So, 
So with that being said, all right, let's get into it. All right, guys, you know who it is. You know what it is. DJ LX Star, two R's, and this is Toxic TV. And right now, we're about to dive into this. We're going to talk about promoting your business and promoting yourself as a DJ and how you promote yourself if you're doing it right or wrong. Uh, right now, while I'm talking, I would like for a lot of you guys right now or all of you, if you can tell me, what are you doing to promote yourself? And I know a lot of people are using uh, solely reliant on like mixed cloud and things like that. OK, let me start there first. Mixed cloud and everything is good. It's good. SoundCloud, all these things are good. They all help out. It's great. It's, it's really great. But as I said in the video that I did about the mixtape, it can't be your only outlet. It cannot be your only outlet because I'm telling you, you will be boom shooting yourself in the foot. I'm telling you. Too many times I've come across DJs to where, you know, everything, their whole life, everything they do is built around, okay, we got Facebook, DJ, DJ Mike from Dallas, Texas in the building as well. Um, DJ Facebook and friends, you have a lot of people who are so reliant on SoundCloud that that's all they use, SoundCloud, MixCloud. What are you doing to promote yourself? SoundCloud, MixCloud, SoundCloud, MixCloud, SoundCloud, MixCloud, SoundCloud, 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 SoundCloud. Get where I'm going with that. You got to have more than one lane. Understand? And as I said, you know, in the last video, if you look at all the greats, all your great businessmen, even people you may know, even people you know who have businesses, I promise you, they have more than one stream of promoting themselves. And all those people who are locked into one way of promoting themselves, I promise you, they're going to not say that you can't make any business promoting yourself one way, not saying you can't make any business, but you're going to level off so quickly. And you're going to wonder why everyone else is surpassing you. Referrals, social media, lower paying gigs to promote networking. Now I'm going to start to, going to start learning to mix. My name is Ali. Ali, what's up, Ali? Welcome. Welcome to the farm. Now, D says something that was interesting. OK. Referrals, social media, lower paying gigs to promote yourself and networking. Referrals are very, 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 very big. Referrals also go hand in hand with how you handle your business at that event. Because if, you're, if you don't handle your business correctly, if you don't put on the performance you're supposed to put on, that referral is not going to, yeah, it's not going to happen. All right. So definitely stay on top of your business. OK, so referrals are, are very, very important. Social media is very important as well, but you can't just use one, guys. You can't use one. You have to use every stream possible from Facebook and friends to to Mixcloud to SoundCloud to uh, uh, if you whoever you guys still use a MySpace. Believe it or not, some of these people, they still do it. <laughs> everything, everything. You have to use everything to promote yourself. Um, also, a lot of you guys really neglect the power of Craigslist. A lot of you really neglect the power of Craigslist. Now, let me break the thing down to you about Craigslist. When you use Craigslist to promote yourself, again, too many times I've seen people, they have the right intention, but they go about it the wrong way. So what they begin to do is they'll put a post up on Craigslist, right? And they'll put up there, click, okay, I'm on Craigslist. And <laughs> exactly is what you're thinking right now. And you can't just post one time and leave it at that. When I was posting my business on Craigslist and I first started coming up, let me tell you something. I will post it. Wait a few minutes. Post it again. Post it again. Post it again. I didn't just get I, didn't, I wasn't satisfied with just posting it up one time. You have to constantly keep putting yourself in front of people, which means the more everything of your promotion, promoting yourself should be should be repetitive understand it should be repetitive not just repetitive by the day repetitive by the minute by the hour you should always be promoting all the time a real good salesman will tell you the key to selling is to sell all the time even when you're just talking to the person sell yourself to them you're selling an experience okay now with craigslist don't just post in one area Post in all areas that have something to do with you. So what I mean by that is when you go on to um, get, have one like, um, for instance, let's say 
uh, services. They offer a, a section on Craigslist called services. You want to put yourself there a few times, as many times as you can until it tells you, hey, you're limited for the day you can't promote anymore. Okay. Now, when you do that, it doesn't mean you can't promote anymore on Craigslist. It means you can't promote under that service section anymore. So what you'll do is you'll go over to the other side of Craigslist that's at the top on your left hand side. I think if you're looking at your computer, it's going to say community. Use that. A lot of people go into the community section looking for things. I'm telling you, even myself, I've done it. I'm telling you, you really want to use that. So Craigslist post all the time. Go into services, post and keep posting and keep posting until it tells you that you surpass your posting limit. Then when you're done posting your business and everything in the um, in the service area, you want to immediately go over to the community area and start doing the same thing. Post your services. Post, 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 post until it tells you, hey, you've reached your limit. You can't post over here anymore. And if there's another section you feel might be useful to you that you can post, go for it. Do it. It can only help you. OK, now moving from Craigslist, let's move on to Facebook. Now, Facebook, very powerful very powerful thing man to be able to promote yourself i particularly don't use facebook because i just don't like facebook so that that's not saying don't use it that's just me i just don't like to use facebook but then as i said my situation is sort of different i use agents and things so my situation is sort of different but with facebook you're reaching so many people oh got a question i will never did facebook i never did face did craigslist but i have heard horror stories now okay Bobby, I'm glad you said that. Bobby Whitney said he, uh, I guess he's saying he would never use Craig or he never did use Craigslist before, but he's heard horror stories. Okay, I will say this. It doesn't matter if you use Craigslist, Facebook, any, any of these things. A horror story, if it's meant for that story to be read to you, it's going to happen to you. That book is going to be thrown at you, okay? The thing about it is you, don't, you, you shouldn't worry about the horror stories you've heard more so than you should worry about preparation understand because everybody's story is not your story you can't go off of, it's, it's kind of like if somebody told you hey you don't want to go to that you no know, to that club over there that club's not cool the dj is blah 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 and blah 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 you don't want to be in there and you say okay i don't want to go in that club because i've heard these stories and i've heard these horror stories and then somebody else tells you, oh, no, dude, that club is dope right there. That club is hot, it's banging and blah, blah, blah. This person gave you their reason for not liking that club. Oh, the DJ plays this kind of music, plays that kind of music, and he doesn't play this. But that doesn't mean it might not appeal to you because the music that he say he doesn't like the DJ that he the DJ plays, you might love that music. So you're not going to go in there just because that guy said so. That's like saying. I'm not going to do this venue because someone else told me they did a venue like this before and it didn't turn out well. You don't know what the situation is. You don't know what that horror story stemmed from. It could have actually been something that the person did that created that horror story. You see what I'm saying? So don't get caught up on that so much. OK, don't don't get caught up on that so much. All right. So run your own race. That's my favorite model. It's my favorite. I live by it. Run your own race. Don't let what somebody else say hold you back. And you also have to understand this. The DJ business can be a very cutthroat. DJing can be a cutthroat business. Some of these people will tell you, don't use this avenue. Don't use that avenue. You know why? You know why? Because they're using that avenue and they're trying to freeze you out. Believe me, some people are that greedy. I'm telling you, even on YouTube. I get this from other people. Other DJs say they want to collab and do videos with me and blah, blah, blah. But it never happens and it never reached back out to me. But I understand what you just did was you came over to my channel to see what I'm doing. So you can either A, duplicate it and ride off of what I'm doing or B, find a way to get around me and suppress me and keep me down. You understand? Don't, 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 don't let people's, other people's horror stories hold you back. Instagram. Craigslist is a very powerful tool, but I was, um, get back to Facebook. Facebook, what it is, Facebook is so big and everyone is using it now. The good thing about Facebook, the people who are using it are in every single corner and crack of the world, which means the little cities that are around where you live, the little cities you never heard of, or you may consider country or out there in the sticks. Let me tell you something. It's those people who will spend the best money with you. Trust me when I tell you this. 
I'm telling you that off of experience, okay? So Facebook is so big, so you definitely want to promote there. And, and I tell you guys all the time as well, and along with, and this goes to another video I did as well, record everything. You guys have to post your work. You got to post your work. That's why I say you can't rely on SoundCloud and MixCloud solely because they're not always going to get you the event. Sometimes they want to see visually what you're doing. Hearing is one thing, but when they can see it, oh, it makes you, it makes you selling yourself to get that event that much easier. You really don't have to do a whole lot of talking from that point. The only thing you got to do from that point is have your personality and your character on display. Okay. Now, moving on. Move. You want to? Oh, okay. Then he said Facebook Market is not accepting event services. Tell me what you mean by that. Because you don't you don't have to put event services up there. If that's what you're saying, though, they block stuff like that. If that's what you're saying. You don't have to go that route. You're going to say I'm a DJ who offers services. There's they don't trust me. A lot of these are doing it right now as we speak. I know a lot of DJs who use Facebook. Even if DJ comes on here, he'll definitely tell you about it. Uh, let's see. Sawyer, what's going on, man? Somebody put up here, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Instagram, another one that is a very powerful tool. People in all cracks and corners of the world are using Instagram as well. Instagram is a very, very powerful marketing tool. Use it like a commercial. When you do events, post them up there. But you got to remember, don't just post one time and then post a bunch of crap in between that. You post your... I'm a DJ and I'm offering services. Then the very next post you're posting is um some crap you found online. You want to put no use it for your business. This is business. You guys, you're trying to achieve something. You're trying to get to the next level of what it is you're trying to do. You're trying to be able to say, hey, boss, mwah, middle finger. I'm quitting. I don't need this anymore. That's where you want to be. That's what you're trying to achieve. So forget about the having fun on Instagram and funny videos and funny pictures. You're promoting a business, which means you should be promoting, 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 promoting all the time. There's a DJ on um, Instagram who I like very much. Cool guy. We've, we've chopped it up a few times. His name is Big Root Beats. That's what he has on a DJ Big Root Beats. If you... Or on Instagram, you have seen this guy before because he's promoting himself constantly on there. Not just one time. He may drop five, six, eight to ten posts in one day. But he does it every day consistently. And along with that as well, early bird gets the worm. That's true. Early bird gets the worm. From the moment you wake up, don't post, I woke up like this. You, I woke up like this is not getting you any money. Or any business. Don't wake up and post, oh, here's my breakfast that I'm eating this morning. No, man. Are you a health guru? You're a DJ. Stick to that and stay in your lane. As soon as you wake up, promote them. Bam. DJ services, blah, 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 blah. Call for pricing. And we're going to get into the pricing part in a minute. You, you want to you wanna promote constantly, guys. You got to be constantly promoting. You have to constantly promote yourself. I reached a certain level, man by really 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 just getting out and grinding and promoting myself you gotta grind y'all put the fun to the side for a second which would you rather now have fun right now and have little business or work your ass off work hard 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 get bigger 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 because as you get bigger you know what that means right you're getting more money more money more money more money more money more money and then guess what when you get bigger and it begins to snowball and take a life of its own then you can play then you can have fun. But the beautiful part about of it is you can play and have fun longer. Understand? You can play longer. Understand? B is in the building. What's up, B? DJ Jazz Nificent. What's good with you? See, you, you. Yes, indeed. It is. Even your boy will try to cut your throat. You're right, hands up. You're right, man. This is a, a, a cutthroat business. And trust me, everything that I'm telling you guys, man, trust me. 
other DJs are practicing this. Trust me, if you're ever sitting there and you're sitting, you're wondering, wow, man, how come I'm not getting all this business? But every time I turn around, I'm hearing about this DJ. You know why? Because he's in his toolbox and he's putting in a wrench time. That's why, because he understand you have to grind out. Understand, you gotta grind out first, man. You gotta be loyal to what you're doing. You gotta have loyalty, man, before you can have royalty. That goes without saying. Enough said. You got to put the time in, understand? Before you can have fun, you got to work. You got to put the time in, okay? So jump on your Instagram. And I'm going to start watching all of you guys. I'm already watching. I'm watching you guys. I want to see I want to see you guys flood Instagram. Flood it. I mean, flood it with your DJ business. Flood it with DJ videos of things you've done. You know, um, even, and don't just put up pictures. Also, come on here like I'm talking to you guys. Go on to Instagram. Hey, guys. I'm DJ Blueberry Stinky Butt, and I just want to let you guys know we're up for service, and we have a couple slots open for the month. Don't wait. Let me know now. If you're in the blah, blah, blah area or any surrounding area or however far you're willing to travel, let us know and call us for a quote or write us or here's our email. Hit us up, however you want to do that. But the whole thing is you need to be promoting Blueberry Stinky Butt every day, at least five to ten times a day, Okay. Blueberry stinky butt should be able to stick in somebody's mind. They should know every time they see your face or see your post or see that name. Oh, that's blueberry stinky butt. That's just the beginning of it. Understand? Before you know it, it starts snowballing. Trust me. You got to use Instagram, man. It's a powerful tool. Post every day. Okay. What is your opinion about using Groupon? Use it. Why not? Why not use it? Use Groupon. Groupon has its own big market in itself with people looking for deals and things. Use it. Use it. If you know how to use it and you can or even train yourself and read up on it to master it, use it. It can only help you. It can only help you, man. I don't care if you woke up every morning and stood on the roof of your house and every morning said, hello, America, I'm the DJ. Guess what? If you did it every day, what's going to happen? Someone is going to notice you. What's the noise about? Why does that guy go up on his roof every single morning and feels he has to let the whole world know that he is a DJ? See what just happened? Curiosity. You've just been talked about. You see what I'm saying? You want to become the topic of conversation in everything you do when it comes to business. There it is, Ali. Work hard, play hard, man. Tuned up. What's up, tuned up? Okay, now let's swing over somewhere so you got craigslist down and we got instagram post on them like crazy every single day every single day every single day you post on craigslist every single day all day long until it tells you you reach your limit under services and then when you filled it up under services remember go over to community and start posting again until you get limited there with Instagram, you want to post, 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 post all day. Forgetting about posting a funny crap or somebody did something funny or somebody fell down the steps or said something stupid or forget that stuff, man. Forget that crap. You're here to make business so you don't have to punch the clock. So you can say, hey, tell your boss, I'm out. I don't want to work for you anymore. Or when he gets on your nerve, you can say, you know what? Kiss it. I'm out. And don't have to worry about it. That's where you want to be. But it takes grind time to do that guys okay so be on instagram all day long posting 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 okay mike burton asked you what do you think about doing your own events to get your name known do it i love that do it do it and it's funny you brought that up because i was just about to go into using your own self as your own promotional tool okay here we go now you are you guys already know how i feel about going public okay hit the metro stations Hit those barber shops. When you go, let's start with the metro station first. When you go to these metro stations, right? You want to you want to have your cards on hand, definitely. Playing some good music, top forty, nothing rowdy. Don't don't do that, because chances are you're gonna be coming across all kinds of people from all walks of life, okay? From all walks of life, and you need to be able to cater to all their ears. So you don't want to play anything that's rowdy. You just want to play something that's nice, jamming, good tempo. You know, as they're walking up to the station, they might come to a little bob or something. But the whole point is they recognize the DJs there. It brings curiosity, makes them want to talk to you. When you see those people walk in, they may look at you, but they don't come to the table. Stop them. Hey, take my card. Don't let them walk past you. Don't let them walk past you. If you see them glance over at you for a second, don't let them walk past you. 
Hey, hey, yo, 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 here, take the card, man. You, you're on your way and you're rushing to work. Take the card. All the information is down there. Check me out. You need a DJ? Let me know. You just put your card in somebody's hand. If you keep repeating this process, there's 21 of you in here right now. If I would just give all 21 of you a card right now, I guarantee out of 21 of you right now, I am going to sell eight of you. I'm going to sell eight of you. I'm going to sell eight of you. It's law of averages. I'm going to sell eight of you. Okay. Now, along with that metro stations, okay, of course you don't have to have your music blasted and have it at a good tempo. Not blasted, but a good tempo because you don't want to blur people away from you as well, okay? And you don't want to just play one thing, one genre. Don't just be playing trap music. Play everything, man. Light classic rock. Um, play some light R&B, hip hop, soul music. You know, have have your your variety going going up and down. You know what I'm saying? You want to attract everybody, not just one group, okay? Not just one class of people. You want to get everybody, okay? Now, also with the trains. What metro station and bus station? Have your shirt on. Look professional. Don't show up looking looking like M D J Trash Man. Don't do it. Show up. Be comfortable. Of course, you want to be comfortable. I'm not saying throw in a three piece suit, but you you definitely want to be professional because you know people are taking you. They're expecting for you to be as such. And when you go to these metro stations. I'm not talking about being in a hood where somebody's going to pull a gun and rob you for your damn equipment and your money. Don't do that. Don't do that. You want to attract money. So you want to go where the money is. We all know our cities. We all know our hoods. And you know where the money is. And you definitely know where the money isn't. And you, 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 you know where to go. So if I'm in California somewhere, okay? Well, California's a bad example. Places like California, Florida, they're bad examples because these are party central places, you know what I'm saying? So let's just say um, somebody might be in Mississippi somewhere. If you know that this area over here isn't really where the money is at, it's where most of the trouble is at. But you know, if I go up to the hills over here, that's where the money is at. Then you need to pack your car and your equipment up and go over to where the hills is at. Understand? Because at the end of the day, it's still a money game as well. You still got to take care of your family. You still got to take care of yourself. Achieve your dreams and all the things that you want to do or whatever it is. You might want a, a closet full of Nike Jordans or my female DJs, you might want a closet full of Prada purses. Then you need to go where you can make Prada money. Understand? It's it's, it's common sense. You need to go where you can make Prada money. It's just simple. Okay. Now, moving to barbershops. And these are things that I touched in videos. But when I'm talking live to you guys, we can have this overall conversation. Okay. <laughs> Two of that ain't no money in Mississippi. <laughs> Bad example. Laugh out loud. <laughs> That's funny. The real DJ, the real DJ Rob is in the building. What's good with you, Rob? How's everything going with you, man? That is most people do, but David, that is most people do on Facebook every day. If you advertise on Facebook for an event, when should you start advertising before the event date and how often reminding people about it leading up to it without it feeling like spam? Okay. I'm glad you asked that. Good question. Because you don't never want everything to come across as just spam. So good question. So here's here's the thing. If you're promoting an event that you're doing, right, especially if it's something that's like big, public, you want people there, you want to wait to at least a week and a half out. If you're worrying about the spam situation, you want to wait till like a week and a half out, you know, and start posting it every day. But you and you too, so you can do it like two to three weeks out. What makes it spamish is when you start posting a billion times a day. Now, if it's for a certain event, you don't want to do that. But if you're promoting your business as a service, it's okay to do that. Businesses do that every day. They promote the hell out of themselves. Okay. And you have to also keep this in mind. You're not going to sell to everybody. That's like saying, that's like trying to satisfy everybody. You're just not. You're not going to satisfy everybody. So not everybody's going to look at it as being spamish. But then some people might look at it as being spamish. If you post only once or two times, some people won't think it's spamish. But just for posting two times, some people will look at it as being spamish. You can't satisfy everybody. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, don't put emotions in business. Don't worry about what the next person is thinking. Keep doing you. Because if you kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. Kept doing it, kept doing it. Sure, it may annoy some people. That's not your focus. You don't care. The whole point is you're up here somewhere. Because even though people that you're that you may think you're annoying, 
at some point in time when they need a DJ, guess who is the first person that's gonna pop into their head? Hey, remember that dude that kept spamming the hell out of us? What about him? Let, let's let's look up. And there you are. So Hollywood will tell you the best. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Good publicity is good publicity. Bad publicity is good publicity. As long as you're being talked about and locked in somebody's head, it doesn't matter, bro. That was from um David. Let's see. Uh What's up, Roman? Let's see, let's see. Then by any question. Gotta get through the 100 no's to get to that one yes. D, you're exactly right. D said you gotta get through that 100 no to get to that one yes. Yes, it's law of averages. There is no getting around it. There's no getting around it. Anyone who comes into this business and you think you're just gonna pop up and just start grabbing all the business, you are fooling yourself and you're setting yourself up for the biggest letdown ever because what you're going to do is you're going to look at yourself like a failure. How come I'm not getting blah, blah, blah? It doesn't work that way. But when you put that rinse time in and you work hard and you get that event, you feel good. You appreciate it more. And then what the process becomes, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's see how far we can push it. Let's do it again. Then you start having uh, uh, that repetitive mindset. Let's keep posting. Let's keep posting. Everything comes with practice. When you keep posting and keep posting, it's just like DJing. You did all this practicing to get nice. You worked in your transition to get better. So why would you put less effort into promoting yourself to be able to use those skills? Makes sense, right? Why would you do anything any less with promoting yourself? The same way you went hard at getting better to jibbit, 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 or beat match or transition, you, put, you should put that plus 50 times more into promoting yourself, okay? The DJ game has gotten big. You have to keep that in mind. So you really, really, it's a numbers game, guys. It's a numbers game. You know, okay? Now, we covered, just for the backtrack for those who are just coming in. We're talking about promoting yourself. Craigslist, go into services. Promote yourself, promote yourself, promote yourself. Post, 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 till it tells you at your limit. When you're done with that, click out of services, go over, Red, I got a question for you. I'm about to give it to you in a second. After that, you promote yourself. When you're done with services, go over to community. Post, 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 post till you're limited. Now, uh, Instagram. Post, 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 post all day. Forget about them funny videos. Forget about what Beyonce did or what Jay-Z did. Forget all that crap because they're not paying you. Promote your business. Promote you. Talk about you. Aren't you important? Aren't you trying to achieve something? Promote yourself like a rock star, man. Be on Instagram, post, 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 post. From the very second you wake up, start posting. Start posting your business, all right? Same thing with Facebook. Post, 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 y'all. Snapchat, post, 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 do it. Do it. All right, Red is in the building, guys. Um, I was talking to you guys um, about promoting on Instagram. Red is a master of that trust me if you've ever been on instagram and seen this dude red is everywhere on instagram but what happened when you see him when you see him on instagram it's not one post it's post 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 red puts that rinse time in red am i wrong red if you don't promote yourself no one else will there it is red how many times tell them how many times you promote yourself on instagram a day i see it all the time it's lines of it. Red is everywhere on Instagram. You should be up there like that too. Okay? Yo, real talk. I was thinking about posting fake events to make myself look bigger. Loud, loud. Fake it till you make it. Ha ha. The only, the only thing about that, the fake it till you make it rule can apply sometimes. The only thing about that, Mike, is be very careful. Be very careful with posting fake events. That thought has been thought of before and DJ have done it and, and some people got caught in it. You never know. It might be that one DJ. Remember, cutthroat business. Keep that in mind and everything you do, cutthroat business. Alarm, bleep, bleep, cutthroat business. Mean that when you put that event, what if there's another DJ that's like, oh, this dude faking. That, that, that event doesn't even exist. Be careful. Be very careful of that. Be careful because some people will back around and check you. Be careful of that, okay? One time by week. Buckins beat. What's up? 
France is in the building. Big shout out to France. All my people over there in France. What's good? ESP on Thursdays. When I have events coming up, I go hard with promoting. Right, right. Don't post fake posts. There it is. You know what I'm saying? Be careful with that, man. That's dangerous. No one can promote you better than you. Jazznificent, you're absolutely right. And at the same time, nobody's going to promote you like you will promote you. Understand? You care about you more than anybody else could ever care about you. So why not promote your business? It, I mean, go nuts. Promote your business like you're the only DJ on the planet, man. I mean, go. This, this promote, 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 promote. Be in your own world and promote yourself. Bro, don't fake. Just put hard work and heart in, in it and you will make it in the end. Definitely. You know, the thing is, guys, you know, promotion is key, man. You have no idea, man. Abuse that Instagram. So I'm glad Red popped up. Red, you're going to live forever. I was talking about you. <laughs> Abuse Instagram. It has no limits. It has no limit. Post, 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 post. When you do little events, put your clip up there of the videos that you did. People watch this stuff, guys. They watch it. I'm telling you, they watch it. They watch this stuff. Try and get on some local stations. That is another outlet. You can do that, too. The only thing about the local stations, you also have to be careful. I would say more of anything. But I'm going to hold that for a second. The stations, be very careful about stations because a lot of these guys want money. Understand? And, that, and it's not cheap. It's not cheap. You got to remember, at radio stations, and Red, Red is a radio DJ. He can tell you guys this. Radio stations, the DJ's power is limited. He has some power, yes, but it's limited. Okay? It's limited. You're talking about talking to directors at that point, and that's not an easy feat. Let me tell you, that's not an easy feat, man. DJ Mel, what's good? In practice and having fun is the key. Right, right, right. Learned that from New Star back when I first started. Big sh salute to you, man. I tell you guys that, man. I use Instagram for me and unknown artists. I work with you and can build your base and there's good networking. Yeah, that too. Roman is another one. Roman is very good for that. Roman is very, and I like Roman's style about that. He's very on top of promoting himself. Also helps promote the next guy as well. And I love that about him, man. I love that about him, man. He's a good dude for that. Do you think that there is a couple ways to promote a DJ who mix underground house music or mainstream commercial music? I think is different. No, it's no different. There's no different. Think about this. Nike and Adidas. They're both different, right? Different class of people wear, let's just be real. Different class of people wear Nike and Adidas. Let's just be real with it. Nike, Adidas, and Puma, okay? But what is the one thing they all have in common? They all promote themselves exactly the same. So no, don't lock yourself into that market, man. Because once you start thinking like that and thinking it's different, you're shrinking your own market. You're shrinking your own mark. I don't care if it's a dubstep DJ or EDM DJ, trap DJ, hip hop, rock and roll, bluegrass, country. I don't care. I will stand right in the middle of all them dudes and still promote myself. So don't don't think like that, man. You'll be shrinking yourself. Oh yeah, Roman always on the gram. <laughs> Yeah, there's no difference, bro. Don't don't lock yourself into that into that thinking, um, Bucks. And don't lock Buckins. I'm sorry. Don't lock yourself into that thinking, man. Don't lock yourself into that thinking at all, man. Sky's the limit. No other genre or no. It's like music. No other genre is greater than any other genre. You know why? Because there's always a listener who is going to listen to all those genres. It's always going to be a listener. Do people who listen to rock music not listen to hip hop? Do people who listen to hip hop not listen to rock music? Or trap music or EDM music? Do dubstep dudes not listen to, to, to hip hop? You, you see what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. Even your your house crowd who listen to house music, those guys still listen to hip hop too. Some of them probably listen to rock and roll, EDM. You see what I'm saying? It's a matter of taste, but it's not a matter of difference. It's not a matter of difference as far as the genres go. Okay. See, Buckins use of hashtag can help in that area. For example, I tag all DMV stuff when I post. There, there it is. That, that, that's a good idea. Hashtagging is good, definitely. And don't let, uh, don't let your people talk you out of promoting. Yes, especially those that are not doing it. There it is. There it is. If they're not in your circle, they're not behind you 100% in what you're doing, eh, put them to the side, but keep moving. Don't let nothing stop you from promoting, man. Is scratching always good at every gig? No, it is not. That's a side um, topic, but no, it's not. It's really not. 
Some people find it very annoying at gigs, to be honest with you. And with certain gigs, like weddings and stuff like that, I don't ever scratch things in. I just don't, man. Some Everybody's not into that. You got to be careful. Everybody's not into that. And it also comes from reading your crowd as well. Okay? Now, moving on with promoting. Barbershops. Barbershops and schools, you want to use these outlets. As I said in the video, don't go to the principal. Get with the coach. Get with the coach. Go to the barbershop. Get with the owner. Get with the head barber. It brings attention to them. Trust me. And don't let nobody charge you. Understand? You're helping them. Trust me. You're helping them. You're bringing attention to them. Okay? So you you want to you wanna keep that in mind. Okay? So, um... Uh... With that, barbershops, schools, promoting at metro stations. Now, here's the boring part of promoting, okay? We're going to get to the boring part now. This is boring, but you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to do it. It's boring, but you got to do it. No one ever said every single part of aspect of DJing is exciting. There are boring parts too, but those boring parts help you. Get your cards and just get out there and start handing them out. Make flyers for yourself and start handing them out out with all your business all your social medias and everything on it king tim what's up man always have business cards on you whether you're at a gig or not exactly always be promoting guys always go out hand them out i don't mean with your equipment djing i mean you you on the corner walking up and down the main strip of wherever you're at where everyone congregates and frequents and is handing out cards and flyers and promoting yourself the same way you see like Mormons out there handing out books and, you know, the the whatever religious groups out there handing out the little pamphlets. You should be you should be right down the street on the next corner doing the same thing. You should be doing the same thing. How do you think those organizations are such large conglomerates? Because they're always in your face. Understand? OK. Um, another thing, too, um, that you can do as well. Apartment complexes, condos, and those, especially those big upscale areas where you want to get the money at, make flyers. Go door to door. Put flyers on the door. You don't got to walk up on their porch. Just stick it on the porch or stick it on their mailbox if the mailbox is to the curb. Do this. Do it. Do it. Do it, guys. You got to get out. You got to put the wrench time in to get to that level. If you want to get to that level, you got to get, you got to do it, man. Shout out to all the DJs here. Shout out to you too, Mel. Definitely. Salute to you, bro. You got to, you got to, you got to really, really, you, you got to do it, guys. So that's standing on the corner, handing your cars and flyers out. That's walking on porches, walking down the, the uh, neighborhoods, putting your flyers out. You got a printer, you know, print some stuff out. If you don't have a printer, go to, um, there are plenty of places that would do it for you. Staples and all kinds of places. Get stuff, get this black and white. You ain't got to be, put a, be elaborate and a bunch of money. Just put in, you know, make some flyers. Pass them out, walked up and down the street in neighborhoods and put them on the steps. You never know who might need you for what. You don't know who's getting married next week. You don't know whose birthday might be in a couple weeks. You don't know whose anniversary. Get that money, guys. Promote yourself and go get that money. When someone followed you on Instagram, take a couple of minutes and send a DM. Thank you exactly for following and invite to visit your website. Definitely. Definitely. Just like I answer you guys back when you guys write me, I try to, man, and there's over 3,000 of you guys, and I try my hardest to reply to all of you, even if it takes me some time to where, okay, he might have hit me two days later, but I got to hit all these guys. I'm going to get to him in a minute, but do it, do it, do it, do it, man. You know, recognize people when they, when they follow you and stuff like that. Do it, okay, guys? You got to do it, Okay. Right, UPS prints flowers. They, I mean, flyers. They, I said flowers. Flyers. There you go. You want to. You want to. You want to. You want to use that. Okay, print flyers and pass them out. Okay. Um, mix CDs. Some of you guys seen the video. Let's do it. Mix CDs. They're still relevant. Make them. Make them. Burn them up. Burn. This record your mix. If you need a program to record your mix on and don't want to spend a bunch of money, you can get it free. Download Audacity. A U D A City Audacity. Download Audacity and record your mixes. Some of you do it on Serato, but for some of you people who don't know how to use the, the, the DJ program to record your mixes, there we go. And you're more comfortable with doing it that way. There you go. Use Audacity, record it, burn it to a disc, and pass it out. Pass them out to people. Make sure all your information is on there. Bobby, thank you for the nine the 999, man. Thank you a lot, Bobby Whitney. Thank you, bro. 
Thank you. DJ Key, Key is in the building. Key to troll. I love the name. I love the name. <laughs> I love the name. You know, I mean, Red, Red said he just got through recording. You got to record those misses. Put them on disc and hand them out to people. It will only help you, guys. It will help you. Trust me. Look at me. I would never, ever, ever tell you anything ever that I did not do myself. I would not have you go out and do anything that I have not done. I'm not, I would never have you go out and do anything that would be detrimental to your business or your brand or yourself. I would not ever do to you so trust me when i tell you take this information guys and run with it this is everything i did to get to the level that i'm at i'm telling you guys you don't want to work for that boss you don't want to do it get out there grind time so we can leave grind and do it even with, if you still want to work there's nothing wrong with that hey i mean i'm a, i take occasional stuff every now and then on the side you know just because you're you're good doesn't mean you can't get out there and you know, do stuff on the side uber or whatever the case may be you know do things okay how to keep YouTube from killing mixed videos. Here's the thing about making mixed videos on YouTube. You can post mixed videos, just don't try to monetize it. Don't try to monetize it. I mean, if you look at mine, I have mixes up there. They're not monetized. I put those up there for you guys because I want to jam out for you. I want to show you guys what I can do. There it is. I want to show you what I can do. Put your mixes on YouTube, man. Don't look for the money for YouTube. Look for the money from gaining business. So when someone in your city wants a, D a DJ, you can say, hey, go on YouTube or you can email them the link. Go on YouTube. Check me out. They like what they see. They come back to you. And guess what? It makes, it, it makes selling and closing the deal that much easier for you. You don't have to go through a bunch of loopholes. You don't even have to talk much. Only thing you got to do from that point, like I said, have your character, your best character on display and to sell yourself at that point. I DJ on Spinrilla. If you ever heard of that. Yes, I know what Spinrilla is. Yes. Spinrilla is good to you too. You know, but like I said, use every, don't just use one outlet. Use them all. Don't just use Spinrilla. Use everything. Use everything. Use every, every outlet you can think of. Just got a Black Expo event next month. God bless. Hey, hands up. That's what's up, man. And hands up. Remember, in everything you do, record it. Get it on video. You don't got to record the whole thing, but get some snippets to post up and promote yourself. You guys want to send me some of your videos. I'll even help promote you as well. I'm that kind of dude. I want to see all of you guys succeed. I will help promote you. I have no problem with doing it. I will be back to recording mixes next week. Been slacking in that area. We all slack sometimes, Roman. You know, the whole thing about it is, man, is picking yourself up, dusting off, and keep moving, man. We've all slacked. Look at me sometime with my videos. I've slacked a little bit. So I'd say, you know what? I'm going to do this in season so I can take time myself, deal with the family, and blah, 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 and come back and do my thing. JK, what's up, man? Hey, do you ever throw flyers or business cards on the events, tables, and the clubs? All right. I'm glad you mentioned that. I've done this a few times. I've done this a few times, but let me tell you this. When you do that, just be prepared, and this will happen. It will happen. Be prepared for your phone to ring, bring, and one of the managers or the owners of that club getting at you. <laughs> now, the flip side, which is the bad side about that part, the bad side about doing that is, when you do that, they will never let you DJ in that club. Just be prepared for that. Be prepared for that. So don't do that at a club that you really want to DJ in. Because once you start doing that, you may gain some business, but you will never DJ in that club. Promoters don't, I mean promoters, club owners despise that. You can do it. I've done it myself. That's why I'm telling you, you will never DJ in that club. And believe me, the owner is going to get in contact with you. It's nothing he can do about it legally or anything, but he's going to tell you, you no, know, you can't DJ here. He'll never tell you you can't come because they want your money, but he'll never let you DJ there. Unless you got a real talk game and can really talk them. Hey, sir, you know, I really am in no disrespect, but I'm hungry. I'm trying to get to the next level and be sincere. I'm trying to get to the next level. It was no disrespect to you, but I got something too. I'm not trash talking your DJ. He's dope. But guess what? I'm dope too. Check me out. You got to be able to turn a no into a yes. It's a part of sales. Be careful when you post your flyers. Might get robbed. Yeah, be careful of that too. Don't just run around. Like I said, that comes with knowing where what kind of money you want to make and knowing where that money is don't just be all around the place you know just posting ridiculously i mean posting but you know putting your posters and flyers up on people's homes and apartments i mean i'm not saying you can't go to the hood and promote because guess what 
There's money in the hood too. There's money in the, in the so-called bad areas too. But that's a matter of taste. If you want to put yourself in that position, if you want to go do that in those areas, that's your that's solely your choice. I will never tell you to go do it, and I will never tell you not to go do it. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up, Red. I'll holler at you later. Give me a call later. Okay, who here has music mixes on Mixcloud? That's probably a lot of DJs. Almost every DJ is doing that, bro. <laughs> I use Mixcloud. Shawnees, what's up? Sean Nice, Stratford. You use Mixcloud? We were just talking about that. Mixcloud is good. Soundcloud is good. But don't make it your only outlet. Use everything. Use everything. Okay, we always check with the venue first and never put other events on. Okay, that's good. Now, that's cool. If you're doing it that way, JK, that's what's up. That's what's up. Do that. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. CDJ2000 or Pioneer Controller. What's your advice about that debate? What do you think, okay, about this war? I think that war, just like any other war among DJs, is hee-haw, hee-haw, jackass stupid. Use them both. It's a matter of taste. I mean, I have a controller, but guess what? I keep my decks on both sides, and wherever I go, they go. I use them both. You know what I'm saying? I, there should never be a debate between equipment because you can have the best equipment in the world, but suck at DJing. And you can suck at DJing. You can really suck at DJing. Somebody can have what you consider mediocre or garbage equipment, but he can out DJ you forever. Understand? So it's not about that. It's about who's using it. Anyone in the place use any sites to manage all their social media sites? Anything anyone could recommend? Appreciate it, Sean. No doubt, man. That's all I'm going to ever give you is the facts, bro. No debate with equipment. Exactly. Don't debate it. Don't debate it. It's pointless. It's pointless. That's like these turntable guys I get. Oh, you're a controller. You're not a real DJ. You're using controllers. Really, dude? Really? Really? How about look at your resume, then look at my resume and tell me I'm not a DJ because I'm using a controller. You can't cut scratch and take your clothes off and strip butt naked while you're cutting and scratching. OK, you're a turntable. You're not a DJ. I'm a DJ. This jockey. Spin music. Get it? You have to really break it down to some people like that sometimes, man. <laughs> That's right. Post. That's right. Tell them mail post. I think some DJ just aren't used to being the artist. And now in today's world, you got to be an artist to be promoted. It's a different mindset. Exactly right. You're exactly right, Mike. Exactly. The DJ is not just the DJ anymore. He's not just a guy in the background. You're your own superstar now. The DJ game is so big. So with that saying, rappers promote themselves, don't they? Don't you see... Um, Young Thug and all these dudes up on YouTube every day, on Worldstar every day, on Instagram every day. So while you're sitting there watching them, why aren't you promoting yourself the same way to have them watching you? You never know. One of them might like your style and reach out to you. People get on like this, man. People get on like this. I'm telling you. So you have to you have to use them all. DJ polls, your recommendation. It's funny. I was just talking about this with somebody yesterday, lady. I remember when people were like, oh, MB3 pool is okay, you know. My MB3 pool, you guys, for 2018 has been rated the number one, <laughs> the number one site to get your music from, man. <laughs> it's rated the number one DJ pool. My MP3 pool online. My MP3 pool online. But still use BPM. Use all the rest because all of them have something different. Use them all. But even with that, that's what they said is the best. Me and myself, I treat everything just like the, just like with equipment. They all have something different. They all have something to offer. Don't judge them. Use them all. Use them all. I use digital DJ pool and my MP3 online. That's what's up. Use them all. There's another one. Digital DJ pool. Check them all out and see what works for you. What works for me might not work for you. What I like, you might, yeah, that sucks. Star is crazy for using that. I like this. You know, pick your flavor. But definitely test all the flavors. Test them out. You go to Basket Robbins, you test different things until you find what you like. Stupid question, but are you a whack DJ if you don't use mashups? No, you're not a whack DJ if you don't use mashups. And then... And it's not a stupid question. It's not a stupid question. The reason why I tell you it's not a stupid question, because you have so many people with opinions these days. Understand? Oh, if you can't do this, you're not this. If you're not doing this, you're not that. It's BS, man. It's BS. Just because you don't do mashup, it might not be your thing. 
it might not be your thing. Just like I know some dudes who can cut and scratch and strip butt naked while they're cutting and scratching, but guess what? They can't DJ at all. They can't rock a crowd at all. Outside of that juve, 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 and taking their clothes off, they got no ammunition. They got they can't do anything. Some clubs only want playing the guy who produced the track and not a DJ. What do you think? You know, you have to, the club scene has so many different sides to it. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like you said, some clubs, not all, but some, these are problems you're going to encounter regardless of where you go. Again, the thing about it is how you deal with it and how you get around it. But you're going to run into these problems no matter where you go. There are just certain things in the DJ world that you're just going to run into. They're just going to happen. Everything from bad events to clients trying to run out and not pay you to club owners being idiots. You're going to run into all these things. So that comes with the game, bro. That comes with the game. So what do I think? No, that's, that's what I think. But that comes with the game, bro. That comes with the game, man. But, you know, I always say in all things, and anyone who knows me will tell you I'm an advocate for this, run your own lane. Do you. What didn't work for the next person might work for you. So every situation is different. Yeah. Worth it paying for some radio ad spots for any big shows. I always kind of work off of you got to spend some cash to make some cash in the long run. This scenario is true sometimes. But let me tell you this. You do not want to get into spending a bunch of money with they're not cheap. They're expensive. They can be expensive. Even they're small short slots. And you also have to remember this as well. This could become a revolving thing with radio stations. And a lot of radio stations like to lock you in the contracts now. Be careful of that. That means you got to pay them every month. So what happens if you're in a six month contract with a radio station, but you're not getting a whole lot of business? What if you're putting out more than when you're bringing in? Stay away from the radio station, man. If you know somebody who can give you that hookup, do it. But if you got to sit there and pay a bunch of cash to the radio station, nah. But if you got one of them DJs, you can know slot a couple bucks too. He's willing to do that, you know. But don't get caught up in that either because you can get in trouble. That's called pay love. Be very careful of that as well. You can actually go to jail for that. Phone Master Flex is under investigation for that right now. Be careful with that, man. And because of his simple self, now that is a big thing now. People are actually enforcing this now. So be careful. Tips on doing a 15 minute live set. Number one, know your set. Know your set, or at least know where you're going with your set. Meaning, know what type of music you're going to spend in that 15 minutes and stick to it if you're freestyling, okay? If it's a practice set, practice it, get very familiar with it, okay? When you do your, um, definitely put your, your best work forward. Definitely, definitely put your best work forward. And when you're doing a mix like that and a live mix, don't do a whole lot of, you know, off-brand songs. Don't do a whole lot of rowdy cuss word songs. Keep it top 40 because at the same time, you might have come across that dope mix you made. You might sit back like, yo, that mix that is there, there, that's the one. But what happens if it's so saturated with cuss words and it's the wrong music and it's violent, sexually suggestive? You can't even play that mix to anybody to use it to get an event. So definitely do your um your live set, but record everything still. Record them all. But just keep it clean and keep the, the clean versions, okay? And and your 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 live set should go right. And when you do a live set, let me know because I will definitely stop by and chime in. I would love to see you guys do your thing live. I had no problem with sitting back and as Red Red to tell you, I look at them live all the time. I sit back and I'm like, yeah, I'm jamming out. You know I love to see you guys do big things. Yeah, Tim, I don't either. I don't do the scratching thing. It's it's tacky. And with that scratching, believe it or not, how people look at DJs who scratch in the next song all the time, they look at you as a half prepared DJ. They look at you. Like, you're not that skilled because the only way you know how to drop the next song in is scratching. No smooth transition, no beat matching. Keep in mind with these things. I'm not saying I look at you that way, but you got to remember you're in a public eye and people are looking at you and they will develop an opinion of you really quick. And that first opinion can make or just completely crash you. You're a loop DJ. There's nothing wrong with looping either. Looping is cool. There's nothing wrong with it. Long the transition is smooth. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm a blend and on the one DJ Roman that's what's up blending is great if any of you watched the video that I did with the EDM mix live mix that I did I didn't scratch it nothing not one time 
Not one time. Not one time did I. I just beat mash everything. But along with that, I also looked at, you know, the BPMs of what I'm playing and make sure the music goes together and make sure it fits, okay? I'm an all genre type of GJ. That's what's up. You're on drop it on the one. There's a difference between audio process and a DJM mixer and a controller. I feel it. Not the same heat. There is more heat in a JM mixer or CDJs. I rediscover my tracks when I put them on the CD. Word, thank you so much. I'm doing a festival with currency. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's really what's up, man. Now, if you're doing that festival with currency, then you really need to get that on video. You really need that on video. And if you can get currency, do it. And if you can get your picture with currency, not even picture, video, do it. It will help you. It will send you boom. Oh, he's with currency. That's what's up. It makes you a household name. Now, something like that, you can definitely fake off that till you make it. <laughs> okay. You'll start keep doing what you do. Big ups to all the DJs on here for sure. And big ups to you, hands up. Now, back to pro promoting, guys. Um, you want to, another way of promoting yourself, um, you know, you want to, um, like I said, Craigslist, under services, keep posting, posting, posting. I mean, in one day. I don't mean every day. I mean, one day. Post, post, post until you reach a limit. Then close it out. Go over to... Um, Community, post, post, post till you reach a limit. Go on Instagram. Post from the moment you wake up. Post, 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 post. Every time you think about looking at Instagram to watch something funny on there, you should be posting something of your business on there. If you do that, as much as you're in, in, watching other people and you promote yourself, as much as you watch other people, man, your business is going to blow, man. Your business is going to blow, man. You're going you're to get that business, man. You're going to get that business, man. You will, man. You'll get that business, man. Okay. And also wanna I wanna um I DJ for the 40 and older crowd and lady auxiliary groups. They aren't interested in scratching. Yeah, they're not. Not everybody is for that, lady. Not everybody's for that. Um two, the plug again, guys. I want to also plug again that we have the um we have the donation thing down there. Like I said, the donations portion of it is going to the homeless. The other portion is going to do travel stuff because I want to venture out and talk to other DJs and go to different places. And also, you guys, don't forget, I have an interview coming up with a DJ from Vienna. He's a dope DJ, man. Tours all around the world, and he's going to drop a lot of good info on here. We're closing that together right now. I need to catch you DJing on one on these lives. Do you have any up on your channel right now oh yeah there's a live one up right now man there's a live um edm mix up there right now and when i get off from here i have to do another video for um somebody who asked me a question and i'm gonna um do um a hip-hop mix so yeah that's gonna be yeah that's gonna be up there the reason why i hadn't did more before because like i said you know i had some poison and i was really sick guys i'm promoting guys with your flyers get out there with your cards not need the flyers on the door. If you put this work in, trust me, you will reap reward from it. I'm telling you of them. I promise you. I promise you, man. It's law of averages. No getting around law of averages. I'm going to give you a call after this chat or give me a call. That's a bet, Tim. That's a bet. Hit me. And, um, you know, guys, you, you promote, 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 and promote yourself, guys. Otherwise... You're just in the bedroom DJ. If that's your thing and you'd like it for a hobby, that's what's up. But if, but I believe everybody on here is trying to make some money. We're checking out that hip hop rap mix. So, oh yeah, man, it's gonna be dope. I'm gonna do um I'm gonna do the um it's gonna be all um I know y'all know who audio two is, especially I'm an old school hip hop historians. You already know audio two top billing to smooth the hustler, broken English, to J Ru the damager, to death row, to Early bad boy days, Wu Tang Clan, Mob Deep, all that stuff is going to be on there. And I'm also going to be doing a, um, a mix soon that's going to be to all the fallen soldiers of hip hop, man. Big Pun, Tupac, Biggie, Prodigy, Big L. That's going to be that's and that's going to be really one that y'all going to really want to to, to 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 check out, man. I'm tracking all the music down from these guys now, and that's going to be a really good one because I love all those guys. So that one for me is going to be a really deep one. A lot of heart and soul is going to be put into that mix right there, man. That that's going to be a, a real dope one. And when I do that, when if you guys want a copy of it, you know, let me know. I'll make copies for you. You know, like I said, you know, 
donate for the work, you know, cool, donate for the work. I'm not telling you, you got to give me 50 or 100 bucks. Donate what you want, man. It could be dollars. It's up to you. You know what I'm saying? All that money. And the reason why I plug that, because all that, I'm, I'm humanitarian, guys. And I really want to help the whole world who are working jobs or rich people. There's no way in the world we should have mine. If I have to make if you want on this, let me know. I got you. If you want me to electronically send it to you through drop a mix, say release it. This is going to be on a major distributor. This is going to be worldwide. I'm about to step out and found to get my DJ Kali thing on. And it's going to be really dope what I'm doing. But even with that, I'm still one time, man. One guy DJ at a bench. Matter of fact, I have my tip cup and I'm passing out my fire. This is early in my career when I'm starting three. Still putting in work, promoting yourself. Make a little change on the side. Even if you make 20, 30 bucks, you just made yourself some lunch after all that DJing you were doing outside. Go get you some lunch. You know what I'm saying? If I see a billboard, I ask them if I can pin my cards. Definitely do it. Definitely, Denny. Definitely. Now that's good. That's good advice. Some people have to do it, man. Another thing that won't hurt either. Sorry about that, guys. Bad spot. Get you a shirt, mate. Get you a shirt. The person want to ask you, okay? So dude, don't leave it close in. You want to make, you want to open you. They might just want to say, hey, you know, I just want to get his number. Have your number on the back of your shirt, okay? All right? All right, guys. I'm once a day to bring you guys some content. At the same time, for uh, I've been getting questions and people asking about my Patreon coming up. And uh, we're still working the kinks out with that, you know, so you guys can get that. All these avenues, all man, use them all. Don't just use one, use them. Keep reading bad that I got to post today. I'm going to get up out of here and you put them down there and I'll answer your question for you. All right, star, and this is Tox TV, and you know my new motto, KG Clipper. What's up, man? You came in as soon as I'm about to sign off, bro. <laughs> you know my new motto, mind your business. Because if you mind your business, that means your business is always on your mind, all right? And I thank all you guys. I appreciate all you guys. And for all you guys who want to do this, I'd love to give it to you. But if, yeah, my live is passing out right now. It is, it is. So I'm going to get out of here right now. Okay, guys, I'm gone. And I said, mind your business. Because when you mind your business, that means your business is on mind.